Hey guys, and welcome back to our Afghanistan series in the Cradle of Civilization. Now in the last part, obviously, we had rebelled with our brothers and many family members and others, people, against the Timurids, all for our own independence. This could be an important war. This will decide the fate of our nations. And after that, the whole game changes. We're going to have to then try and compete with very powerful neighbors. That's going to be a, a difficult time, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. For now, we just have war. And that's what we've got to deal with right now. We're making a tiny bit of money, but not enough to bring more men in. We'll deal with the men that we've got, and obviously the allies' men. They have 7.5 thousand men running away, but they could have a good amount of manpower somewhere. We have quite a few men around here. Okay, they're going to go down that way. Who's with us? So, okay, he's got his men on top of us. Maybe I should just move my men. That way we're both not here. I'm going to move to here. Maybe we should go to the capital next. That would probably be a good idea. Well, you know what? Let's go this way. I'm going to go to these lands and start taking up these, the ones bordering myself. So that way maybe if we keep beating the Timurids, maybe we can try not just to get independence, but even land for ourselves, which could be nice. You never know. It's definitely a possibility. Provincial unrest, that should be fine. Yeah, nothing else we're going to concern ourselves with right now. We should probably get a leader. Now, do we get him to be our leader? Probably not. I, I don't think we really need to right now. Let's go recruit a general. Yeah. Cost zero maintenance. That's a good point. Let's make, let's make the ruler. We have an heir. How old's the heir, actually? That's probably a better point. One years old. Okay, let's go over commander then. Just in case. Uh, I don't want to risk anything right now. Okay, recruit generals. Cost you 50. Gain one army professionalism. He shall be called Shapur Ahmad. I'm happy with that. Fine. Um, he's got two shock and free maneuvering. Fire. I don't need fire right now, guys. Come on. I don't need fire. We haven't got any guns. Or cannons or anything. We just got sticks. What, what, actually, what do we have? We do have, we have, yeah, we have spears. Um, which is basically just a big stick. When you think about it. Okay, they are going back. I was wondering that maybe they were going to come back. They're going to attack these guys. Oh, dear. Those guys are in trouble. 6,000 men against like 16 or 18,000. The only way we can beat them is if these guys get more involved, I think. If they're in the combat, we can normally win. But yeah, the mountains, we're not going to help them there. It didn't affect the war score that much, but that's lost us a ton of men, which could be dangerous. Let's come into Afghanistan. Okay. Let's move to here then, because the only fortress is right there. So we can kind of take these lands, but they're coming in now. They're likely going towards me, I would suspect. When do I get there? The 15th of October. Okay, he gets there a bit later, so we'll move into there. And probably what we should do is move on. We can't just go straight into there. Are you kidding me? I guess because of that. Let's go... Let's stay, let's stay with our allies. Um, let's go that way. We'll get there on the 26th. Where are you going? Bust. Yeah, he's going over to these lands, I guess, to take these back. Or maybe he's going to go siege my lands. Too many men there for me to fight. The only way I could take them down is if our allies went in to help. They're going to Bamyan. Now, I'm going to siege down their capital until we see them maybe move. Are they just going to take that back? They're just going to take that back. I'm fine with that. They can take that back if they want. We've got 25%. Would they give us independence now? Have I clicked it? Grant independence. They would not do it just just not yet. But I really do want more than that because the Timurids are going to be a massive problem for us. If we get independence, they're still a very powerful nation. Um, so we'd like to destroy them a bit more just to make sure then that they can't destroy us later. That is the plan. That is what I'd want, but I'll have to just wait and see. As long as they've got lots of soldiers, you know, we can't just do what we want. So they're going to go to Kabul. They're going to go to my capital now. We're already at his capital, so we should beat this before he does. But again, we have no 
kind of siege on our leader. So that's not good. Though they do not either, so it could be okay. They're going after the Corzan, possibly. They're just going to take these all back. Okay, if we can get the capital, though, that is big. I think it's the only four, is it? Is it the only four that they have? It possibly could be. They're taking it all back. It's fine. It's just little places. We're taking the real prize here. Where's the big armies? Where's my allies' big armies? There was like 14,000 somewhere. Oh, there we go. 12,000? Okay, he's gone down a bit. But he's all the way down there. We need him up here to help us fight the Timurids. Not being down there and just picking places off one by one. I mean, as long as he stays over there, I guess it's not a big deal. It's going to take us a while to take this. And by then, he could have taken all that and be on his way back. Jalabad. Okay, he's going back down there. They've taken that back for me, which is nice. They've also taken that for me. I forgot all about this place over here. Tyrannical nobles, a representative of the people living in an area dominated by one of the most prominent families of the Amirs, has approached the throne today, imploring the Sheik to take action against what he claims are systematic abuses of power against the people there. Hmm... Turn a blind eye. Um, they gain loyalty. Or we could lose loyalty from them. Now, what are they on right now? The Amirs are on 58%. So that's okay. We could upset them. One base tax? Uh, let's do that. Let's chastise the landowners. We, we can afford to do it right now. We've got to be careful in the future. We can afford... Oh, they're going to get attacked there. Recall diplomats. So these guys now like us. So there could be chances of uh, friendliness in the future. A royal marriage. I think we take it. We do need an ally. We will need an ally in the future. So they could be a good one, I think. But they're a different school. <sighs> How many diplom... diplom um, we ha already have four... Diplomatic relations, so again, that's not good. Now, if I run off to try and help them, the seven, the seventeen thousand. I mean, we need to stay near the seventeen thousand. If that army gets destroyed, we are screwed. So we need to make sure this army survives. I'm going to stay near them. This army, it doesn't matter. It's a small army. They were stupid. It's their own fault. But now we're going to be in trouble. So we got six thousand. They got seven thousand here. So that's about thirteen thousand to sat right here. That's not too bad. They should be able to hold their own if anyone attacks. But where are they going? I've suffered casualties. It's okay. It's okay. You can you can survive. 7,300. Okay, they're going to there. They're going to get their men together. About 14,000. Why are you just sat here? <laughs> Why are you just sat there? Come and help or do something. I'm just hoping if we do get attacked, maybe he'll run in. Maybe he can get here in time. We're not making much. Okay, they're now going into our lands? No. No, they are going to stay in our lands a little bit. How long has this taken? Okay, it shouldn't be far away to fall apart now. How many men? There's 2,700 men in the fort. So quite a lot of men in the fort. It's not ready to surrender anytime soon. We should increase the speed. 7,000 men up here. Got another one fat. I wish I should probably tell those guys to take this or something. Let's just go tell them to do something. It also gets them closer to me, which is good. You gonna do it? Y you're gonna go? No? Yeah. Okay, great. He's not gonna try. He doesn't care, apparently. I don't know why. Warriors do not read books, apparently. With the war taking the focus of every capable and productive person in the nation, there is a lot less time for frivolous activities of musician, musicians and poets. And even the best of poets is no better a soldier than a common farmer. I mean, have you ever read The Art of War? I think some soldiers, you know, some warriors read a book, because a lot of them have read that. Well, so once I need my stability. That's... Okay, that was one of the worst things that could have hit us, actually. Because our stability is really bad, because we declared the war against our uh, liege. 
Okay, they've got low morale. Yes, okay, we could get independence, but I would like to make them smaller. Return cause, possibly. What about to me? Like, what could they give? They can't give anything to me. Okay, that's fine. Release nations. Kashmir. Wouldn't be too bad one to let go, I think. Uh, that one's quite small. Punjab. Yeah, so quite small places. Maybe none would make a big difference. Um, seed provinces. Maybe to us. Like, having something like that would be quite nice. 12%, 7%. That one probably would be the nicest one. I would like just to get that at least. Um, and probably this, actually. Margella. Yeah, cause we do have a claim to that as well. I, I would like to get that. <laughs> just to make sure the Timurids have nothing over here. Um, they would not like it. And neither would Fars. They, they would be a little bit upset if I did that. But we're giving you independence. It's fine. What if I also released... Uh, these guys, no, they still wouldn't like. They don't want that. Why are you upset? Um, Sistan's given fewer provinces than they expect from their 14% war contribution. Okay. Well, we'll see how things go. We could get independence though right now. They're about to jump in with this many men. No objective. They're not going to go get that. So, the question is... They're going to go to here... Will these guys come and help me? That is the question. That is what I'm waiting to find out. We have more men than them right now. So our men should make a good job of this. There's no kind of uh, natural things going on here. Our allies are not going to come help. But it was okay. We handled it fine. We completely destroyed their army as well. Leader trait has been gained. The goal orientated for the general. Movement speed increased. Very nice. Your war exhaustion is high. Um, yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Okay. Let's let time go by then. What are they going to do? So they've now got one army left. This should make things kind of easy. We'll take the capital. Once the capital falls, I think the war score is going to go much higher. Probably. They've got low already, but it'll probably lower even more. How long is it going to take? 38% ah, chance. Come on. Okay, they're, they're going to try and chase them down. Go, men. Chase them. Debate over the philosophy of Ibn Arabi. Um, he was an Andalusian scholar and mystic, regarded by many Sufis as the foremost spiritual master. His pantheistic philosophy of the unity of being viewed all of the creation as a manifestation of God, and invited worshippers to see divine beauty in all aspects of life, not merely in the traditional rituals of Islam. Ever since, debates have raged on over the capability of his philosophy with scholarly interpretations of Islam, with some going as far as to label him an unbeliever. For many Sufis, on the other hand, Ibn Arabi's philosophy became the foundational principle of their religious practice. Now we too are being asked to take sides. Okay, so we can go towards legalism or mysticism. Now, if we go towards legalism, national tax modifier, national manpower modifier, technology cost, sounds pretty nice. I, I kind of like that. Um, force this, we need blah, 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 blah. Corruption by minus two. We can gain manpower, though, instantly, which is really nice as well. And missionary strength, morale of armies, and fort defense. Now, that one could be important because we're surrounded by many enemies. And because we're very close to India, we might want that missionary strength as well. Ugh, this is difficult. I think I have to go with mysticism, actually. Yeah, support the unity of being. Let's go towards mysticism. That's what I'm just going to go with for now. We'll see how things go. 41%. Come on, capture the capital. And it's over. The war will be done. The Timurids will be crushed. 85%. Low morale. This Look at that. They would give us all of that. Now, these two would be upset. So, we probably should give Sistan that. They would be happy. Fars would also like something. Let's have a quick look. I can't see anything. Okay, Yazd. 
because do not want it. Well, I can't give you anything then. How am I meant to give you something if you're not even going to take it? I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to do that. I'm just going to have to upset them. It's the only thing. Uh, revoke. I guess I could return cause to them, possibly. Let's have a quick look. Maybe we could return nothing. We can't return anything to them. Great. So we can't do that either. Release nations. Release nations. We could try to get like that. We could get them out, which would be kind of nice. Um, because Asking don't make it a core. Um, I'm thinking that's still part of the Timrids, though. So I, I, it might not be nice borders. That could be slightly better because it would be a bit nicer borders. Though the Timrids would be very thin on the ground there. And they'll treaties, enforce fleets, give up claims. Huh. Now we don't need to do that. Independence war reparation. No, I think we'll just go with more land then. Okay. So, if we want to take more land, maybe we could give Coruscant a bit. Um, because they don't have much. It might be better to make them a bit stronger. If we took something else so for myself, maybe people would like it. Um, we'll suffer 1 to 32 aggressive expansion with 120 countries. Though nothing too bad it looks like. It might be okay. I'm quite happy with that. Let's have a quick look. Peace of cost is 123. Independence of expansion. So the base of aggressive expansion. Gain prestige. Okay. I think overall looks pretty good. Um, actually, I did prefer having this one, didn't I? Yeah, I'd further have that. Just kind of, Then we're going over kind of on this eastern front. But then again, that means Yarkand does not border the Timurids, which could be nice because maybe they don't like them. So that could be good. It's hard to say. I guess we'll go with that one then, just to make the Timurids kind of a snake. Um, do you want anything else? Money? Give me all your money. That looks like the most we could get. So we get 40 gold. We could gain these lands. Give them that, release them, gain independence for everyone. I, I mean, what more could we want? Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Let's make sure it was independence for everyone. We'll cede that to us. Yep, I'm very happy with that. I don't think there's much else we could have got. Peace value, 95. Uh, return calls. They'll be unhappy with us, but they're far away, you know. Who cares? Who cares? Send demands. And there we go. The demands have been sent. Timurids will bow down to us now. Even though technically I'm a Timurid. There we go. Peace off are done. We've lost independence CB against the Timurids. We know that. So there we go. Look at that Afghanistan. Looking pretty good. I like it. So we've now got a nice little Afghanistan here. The Timurids have kind of been... Uh, they, they've kind of been hit a little badly there. They don't look so good. We need some provinces to make a core. Let's go for that then. Uh, we can't do it right now. Let's go over everything else we could do. Do we still have the claims? Sin Saga, yeah, we do. Corruption is growing. Oh. Went a bit too far. There we go. So if we go one more. It changed by 0.02. There we go. That should do that. that that'll make it positive at least for now. Um, I'm happy with that. You've an exiled army. Bring them back to these lands. We need to start obviously making sure these people don't rebel against us. Your war exhaustion is high. Eh, that's fine. That'll go down. We're out the war now. Provincial unrest. Kashmir. Margella are pretty bad. So we're going to have to give these guys a bit more autonomy. Increase autonomy over here. Just to make sure they don't rebel against us. Eh, it's still pretty bad. We're going to have to, I think, send the forces in. Um, send the forces into there. And now we also need some rivals. Uh, we can't improve our stability. That's something we have to look into as well. But too few rivals. Who are we going to choose? We don't have many choices. Uh, Balukistan, who are quite friendly towards us now. Uh, Multan. We could go for Multan. Sistan, who helped us in the war, the Timurids. I'm going to go with Moulton. Does that is that enough? You want me to do more? I, I, I guess the Timurids um, are the one we should go for then. You want me to do one more? No, that's fine. Okay, two is fine. 
Molten and the Timurids. That means we can look for allies from their enemies. The Uzbeks and a Jam. And you have Sindh, Baluchistan. I think Baluchistan is probably the best choice. Oh no, no marriage. No marriage apparently from them. Let's increase relations again then. Hopefully we can get that up. But who else do we want to ally with? Now, Sistan are hostile. Even though I gave them that land, these guys like us. And we do keep the alliance. That's not... Okay, that's kind of cool. We actually keep all the alliances with them. So I don't actually need the alliance with Belakistan. But I feel like Sistan and Fars are going to break it. And maybe Kurasan. I don't know if they still like us. They still like us. Okay, that's fine. Well, one of them's going to break it. Whoever breaks it will ally with Belakistan. And then together we'll just keep eating maybe Sistan if they break it. Or maybe we'll go into India. I think going towards India might be the best thing to do for now. We'll see. We'll see how things go. And we'll take, we'll take it by ear. You know, I haven't decided if I want to go east or west. Maybe we could go east and become the emperor of China. Or maybe we could go west and bash heads with the Ottomans and Mamluks to see who's the dominant Muslim power of the world in the cradle of civilization. Have to wait and see. Um, we've lost that against the Timurids. That's fine. Humiliate the rival. Now, obviously, we do want to maybe do some of these things. The Age of Discovery. This could be useful. So, Discover America. We're not going to do that. Control Center of Trade. So, quick look. Kashmir. I guess, uh, Inland Center of Trade. Now, Kabul is a center of trade. So, I own control on court at least five provinces with a center of trade. Okay, so it needs to be five of them. So we've only got one. So there's one there. Yeah, that's probably going to be very difficult. We probably can't do that. A large city. We've got 14. Could probably try and work towards that. Obviously, we do obviously want to increase the institutions as well. Embrace the Renaissance. Yeah, the Renaissance have to try and bring in feudal society. At the set. We want vassals, yeah. I feel like the different um, things you get as the Muslims now are really good with having vassals. So maybe we'll go for vassals as well. Present on two continents. Humiliate a rival. Humiliate a rival might be uh, an easy thing to do, but we've got to wait till later. How many men can we have now? We can have up to 12 armies. We can double our men. Let's see how much money we're going to have. We'll lower the army maintenance. And we'll also mothball all forts. So that's good. So now we should be making a lot more money. Oh, plus one. <laughs> We're going to be making plus one. But that's still plus something. Um, so let's make some more men. What do we have right now? Five to one. We need more horses. So let's build a man. Let's build a horse. That's six to two. Um, build one more man and one more horse. That's basically all my money. I'm fine with that. Let's keep it like that. Build up our forces. Build up our army. We need one now. They've announced Baluchistan as their rival. Well, that is a shame. Has announced the Timurids as their new rival. Okay. Do we have any rivals? Who's our rivals? Who've named me their rival? Um, so far, we have no enemies. That's good. I mean, yeah, that's not terrible. Um, raw marriage from Sistan. So, Sistan, you would like to be friendly now. Huh. Well, seeing as we can't make any other relationships, um, I think might as well. You're right next to us as well. Maybe we'll go for you instead of Belukistan. Marrying our houses together will be good. Are you a Timurid? No. Murabanid. So he's not a Timurid, but still, you know, that could still be good for the house. Claim fabricated. Timurids, the damn Timurids. They're always going to be looking at us. They're going to try and take us back as soon as they can. But we'll have to leave that till next time. I'll see you then.